in this video I'll show you how to connect your HP DeskJet 3700 series printer to your Google Chromebook computer to be able to print and scan. So let's start right away. You can't just connect them uh, like this, like, it like a PC or a Mac. You'll need to have a smartphone to do this. So take your iPhone or Android phone, go on the App Store or Play Store and search for HP Smart App by HP Inc. Download this and open it. After you open the app, it should look like this. This is the main menu. In my case, I have already logged in into my HP account. That's why you see a printer here, but it's not this one. Forget about it. What you'll need to do is to add the HP 3700 series printer in the app first. So to do so, you have a small plus symbol over there. Sometimes it will say here, add a new printer. Just tap on one of these. Then tap on get started. By the way, make sure that the printer is turned on. And before going further, on the printer itself, you'll need to do something, I'll show you. So you see this button, there's an X button and there is another one right beside it, I mean right under it, that looks like a network button. Take two fingers and keep press on both of them until you see the power button blinking. Then you can release them. Wait, the blinking will stop and this will mean that this printer is in pairing mode. Here we go, it stopped blinking. Put this aside, take your smartphone back where we were, select Wi-Fi, continue, continue. If you don't see your printer in the list, don't worry, just go into the Wi-Fi settings of your smartphone and select HP setup 3700 series that's your printer just select it wait until it's connected it's connected now go back to the app once you're back in the app just drag down and it will search again if the printer is still not listed tap my printer is not listed find printer Tap on your printer from the list, press continue, select your Wi-Fi network, the one that you're connected in the house, enter the Wi-Fi password of this network, continue, continue, enter the pin that you find in the back of your printer, should be over here, you see? or it says pin, I won't show you mine, but it's over here. Press submit. Decline optional data. Skip ink benefit, skip offer, skip offer. Automa automatic update is better so just select the first one okay skip printing page not right now we're almost done okay great you should see your printer over here now put this aside and we'll go on the Chromebook on the Chromebook you're going to go over here, click, then click on this small icon with the gear wheel. Then in this menu, you're going to tap advanced. Go down, then you should see print and scan. Click. Printers over here, click on this. And in this list, you should see HP DeskJet 3700 series. This is your printer. Just need to click save. You should have this added um, 
message that confirms that it's now saved. I'll open a document that I have on my Chromebook to do this. Okay, let's say I want to print this. It's a PDF file. Then click on the printer icon. Under destination here, you should select your HP printer. Let's wait, okay. Click, see more. Then select HP DeskJet 3700 series. And here you can select which page to print. In my case, it's just one page. How many copies of it? Do you want color or black and white? In my case, I want black and white to save some ink. You can even tap on more settings and you have more settings here that you can change. Well, it's up to you. But in my case, I'll just go ahead and click print. But before doing this, I'll just insert some paper inside of my printer. Okay, so now I'll click the print button, the blue one, and the printer will do its job. Here we go. So this is the document I had on my Chromebook. It's a PDF and it printed very well. Now let me show you how to scan a document using the printer. Very easy as well, since you already connected these two. So go back where we were here, the gear wheel, advance, go down, print and scan then select scan it will search for the scanner of the printer wait a bit and here scanner make sure that you select hp deskjet 3700 series before starting scanning just make sure that the destination of the file that will be scanned is where you want it to go you can select any places on your chromebook and what kind of file so Maybe you prefer a JPEG, a PNG, or a PDF. Just choose from this list. In my case, I'll choose JPEG. You even have more settings. And this is important if you want to scan a picture. Select color if it's a picture, obviously. The size of your picture. And here, tap and select the highest number, which is 600 DPI, because this will give you the most details to your scan. If you're scanning a paper with only text like this one, you don't need to scan it at 600 DPI. It's way too much. 200 will do a perfect job. So I'll select 200. Now, before pressing the scan button, the scanner of this printer is over here. And to do the scan, you need to bring the paper closer from the slot, align it with the slide, okay? Like this, not like this, like this. And you need to feed it with your hand slowly and the printer will take it just a bit by this much. Okay, so just to show you what I mean. Oh, you see, it tried to take it and made a small sound and it failed because the paper wasn't all the way in. So I'll do it again. And this is very important. To make sure that the printer uh, took it just a bit, just do something like this with the paper. And if it comes out, well, you need to restart and go gently and push it all the way in. If not, you're going to have black marks on your scan and it won't look pretty. So the paper is there and I will and I will tap the scan button. It should work right away. And OK, the scan is finished. It should appear on the Chromebook. Here we go. Very beautiful. The file has been saved automatically 
you just have to press done and you're done you can also tap show in folder and it will show you where it saved the scan and you can open it from here share it send it by email do whatever you want to do so thanks for watching i hope this video was useful if so please leave a like subscribe to this channel check the links in the description if you want to get some ink for your hp printer and i will see you in the next one